and welcome again to the beautiful Wasseys Fieldhouse for the second part of our doubleheader action tonight. The one and two Wasseys Lumberjacks will be taking on the two and one Wassa West Warriors. My name is Nathan Townsend, riding solo tonight, and for all of the Wassa East television staff, I would like to welcome you to tonight's Wisconsin Valley Conference rivalry game, and thank you for tuning in on WIAA.tv forward slash Wassa East. If you're just now joining us, in the first game, Wasa East was destroyed by the Warriors, 69-29, to after a huge third quarter by the Warriors allowed them to pull ahead. So uh, really key for the Warriors was uh, was uh, Zam, Sam's uh, for Wes, who was really excellent and had an uh, outstanding third quarter. So for tonight, uh, the boys are, uh, Wasa East boys are coming off of two uh, losses and uh, a victory recently, just recently they came off of a victory against Newman, 56-66. Uh, to 66. Uh, and The first two games they lost uh, to Mosini and Pacelli by scores of 53-58 and 52-56. So they played a really close game but were not able to pull it out in the end. Wasa East is coming off a season last year where they went 14-9 and nine and uh, lost in the second round of the playoffs to D.C. Everest. Um, they think they uh, com coming into this season, they're looking to blend uh, the guys, uh, blend guys with uh, some big guys on the team, which the team has not exactly had a dearth of in the uh, past recent seasons. Um, and they also have a lot of great shooters, and probably the best shooter on the team is Conrad Felton, who has absolutely uh, dominated for this team uh, in the, their past three games, scoring uh, 18 uh, in their win against or in their loss to Mosini, 29 in their loss to Pacelli, and uh, 28 in their victory over uh, Newman. So the Lumberjacks are looking for some other players to uh, kind of step up in addition to Conrad. Uh, Justin Schramm is been consistent with 10 points a game in all three of his games and uh, so they've re really been uh, looking to have other guys step up and they're looking to blend in some of the young guys with the seniors uh, something that they need to uh, remember is that they need to be patient um, when I talk to uh, the coach of the Lumberjacks coach Teske uh, coach Jason Teske he told me that uh, they need to be patient that uh, they're really trying to find uh, which blend will, will work with uh, they had 13 guys try out for the team and they're trying to figure out which combo they would use so their game uh, in the first couple of games wasn't quite as fluid as they would like it to be and uh, they really uh, are looking to develop a lot of chemistry within uh, the team so they're looking tonight for Conrad to really step up again and have a huge night. They really are, are going to need him as they face a tough uh, Wassa West team. For Wassa West, they are 2-1 and one, uh, with victories over Bikelli and Newman. And they re are really looking to play solid D tonight. Um, some things that they are really looking to do is uh, work together and make sure that there are really no individuals who are um, going to be set uh, stepping up, up because they really feel that they need a player of the team. Someone who is going to be key, key though, uh, especially on the defensive side of it, is uh, Schertz, Tyler Schertz, the 5'10 senior and uh, number 14 for Wassa West. And so we are looking to get things started here. So we are looking to get things underway here. So we are skipping the national anthem here because uh, in the first game they played the national anthem, so they apparently they only think we need to hear our, our national anthem once. So we will begin with the introductions.
before Walsall West tonight starting is going to be number 14, Tyler Schertz, the senior 5'10", uh, who's senior at 5'10", who's really going to need to be a, a, a presence on defense. They also are looking at uh, number 25, Justin Duffy, who's going to be their star starter in addition with uh, Taylor Penn, number 31, number 33, Andrew Wolf, and number 34, Brendan Lewandowski. They're going to round out the starting lineup for Wausau West. For Wausau East, the starting lineup is Cole Nelson, number four, number 11, Sean Wilson, the junior, Number 21, Adam Romanski. Number 22, Justin Strom. And number 24, the star for the Lumberjacks and someone who's really gonna have to come up big, Conrad Felton. So we are looking to get things started here as Wisconsin Valley Conference action as we are set to tip off. Justin Strom will be tipping it off alongside number 34, Brennan Lewandowski, the 6'8 uh, senior. And Wausau East wins the tip off with number 21, Adam Romanski, getting the ball for the Lumberjacks. Passes out to Cole Nelson, dribbles it down into the lane, passes it back out to Romanski. Romanski looks to pass it into Conrad Felton, but is tipped away by the Warriors, and so the Warriors will get the ball back. The ball is tipped by Romanski, but Wausau West is able to get it. And number 14, Tyler Schertz looks to get it. But uh, they missed the rebound, the rebound goes over, and so it will be an over and back called uh, against the Warriors. Adam Romanski will inbound the ball to Cole Nelson. Being defended by Shirts, or excuse me, by number 25, Duffy. Passes the ball to Felton, passes it to Sean Wilson, puts it, Cole Nelson who misses the three-pointer, rebounded by Schertz. Dribbles the ball at court, Duffy passes the ball to Schertz, passes the ball to number 34, Lewandowski. Passes it down, and the shot is put up by number 33, Wolf, but it is no good, and it is rebound by number four, Cole Nelson. Puts the ball up, and Strom is able to make the first basket of this ball game. The Lumberjacks take a two to nothing lead. Justin Duffy dribbles the ball up court, defended by Cole Nelson. Passes the ball to Schertz. Passes the ball to Wolf. Passes the ball inside, puts up the shot, and it is blocked by Wilson. And grabbed by Cole Nelson. Cole Nelson dribbles it up. Passes it to Strom. Strom Passes it around to Felton. Felton dribbles around, passes it to Romanski, who passes it back to Nelson. Nelson dribbles inside, passes it back to Romanski. Passes it back to Felton. Felton's dribbling down, looking to put up the shot, and puts up a spectacular shot that does not go in. And uh, the ball was tipped by Nelson, but uh, was not able to get it back in bounds. Shirts inbounds the ball, or excuse me, it's going to be Penn who's going to be inbounding the ball. Passes it to Shirts. Passes the ball up to uh, Lewandowski. Passes it back to Lewandowski, or to Duffy, who passes it inside to Lewandowski, who is fouled uh, by Sean Wilson there. Lewandowski will be having shooting the three throws, the two free throws here, as Wausau East has a two to nothing lead in the early goings in the first period, and it misses the first free throw. Looked like it was going to go in and bounce it up there for quite a while, and decided not to go in. So, looking to take the second free throw, it is up, and it is good. He's able to go one for two as Sean Wilson inbounds the ball. Romanski dribbles it up the course, passes it to Strom. Strom passes it back to Romanski. Romanski looking to orchestrate the offense. 
Wausau West is playing a man-to-man -man defense and playing Wausau East pretty tough. Ooh. Yeah. Hermanski takes the deep three and is able to sink it. And Wausau East takes a 5-1 to lead here again in the early goings. But that was a, a deep three for Hermanski. And there is a foul on the ground by uh, number 22, Justin Strong. Foul is on Shirk. And bounding the ball is 10. Penn passes the ball in the shirts. Who passes it out to Wolf. Wolf passes it back to Shirts. Looking to get it inside, but there is a foul by Wilson in the paint. By Lewandowski. And so now looks like Bryce Widmark is looking to come in for Wilson. Uh, when I talked to Coach Teske, he said that uh, Wilson and uh, Woodmark would really have to be key as the big, the big men for uh, Walsa East, and look to be a presence in the paint. Passes it out to number two, who's in the game, Kyle Nickel. Nickel travels, and Walsa East will get possession back as inbounding the ball is Cole Nelson, looking to pass it out to Adam Armansky, who dribbles it up the court. Passes it to Strom, excuse me, to Felton. Hermansky tries to save it, and it's two on one, but it's an over. Uh, and he palms it, and Walsh East gains possession. Strom, or Strom will be inbounding the ball to Cole Nelson. With 4.43 remaining here in the first quarter, Wasi East is up 5-1. to one. Cole Nelson dribbles the ball to court. Passes the ball to Romanski, who passes it back to Strom. Cole Nelson takes the three-point shot and it is short, but it is rebounded by Felton, who is able to make the basket. So Wasi East takes a 7-1 to one lead here. Six-point lead over Wasa West. And has the ball, passes it out to Hennessy's. Shirts has the ball, and there's a foul on the ground on the Lumberjacks. So Bryce Woodmark will draw the foul there, and Brady Becker is going to come in for Adam Romanski. Inbounding the ball will be number 31, Taylor Penn. Passes the ball out to Hayner Fuse, who was able to make his the three-point shot until Wausau West cuts the lead of East to three. Nelson has the ball, passes it to Strom, and passes it around to Becker. Becker passes it to Felton, who is looking for something to pass it to, passes it back to Becker, passes it down in the lane to Widmark. Widmark is looking to, oh, and he passes it back out to Brady Becker, and is rejected by number 34, Lewandowski. Nice job by Lewandowski there. Nelson will inbound the ball. So looks and passes it to Widmark to pass it to Becker and Nelson will have the ball. Passes it out to Widmark to pass it to Conrad. And there's a foul in the paint on Wassel West. Hanger Fuse will be on the foul. Wasis inbounds it, passes it back to Felton, who takes the jump shot and is a little too strong. So Wasa West will get the rebound there. Wasis is playing man to man defense. 
and have done a nice job so far with three, almost three minutes to go here in the second quarter. And refuses it down, passes it out. Oh, but it's a nice play there by Conrad Felton, who does a nice job first of tipping the ball and then tipping it to one of his teammates. Cole Nelson would, would gets the tip from Felton. Felton has a ball, looks to drive, and makes the layup. A nice play by Conrad Felton on both sides of the ball. And a timeout called by Wassa West with Wassa East leading four to nine. As the boys come back onto the court, Wausau East is leading nine to four, but Wausau West is getting the ball. It looks like Wausau East will play a bit of a full court press. And that's number 22, Andrew Fisher, who puts it up, or that was Hanerfuse, or Lobodowski, excuse me, who puts it up, and there's a foul on Bryce Woodmark. In the act of shooting, so he will be shooting too as the Warriors look to cut back on the Lumberjacks' lead. First three throws up, and he makes it. Woodmark goes out of the game, and for the Lumberjacks is Wald Waldo. Excuse me on that. Puts it up and it is good. Romanski dribbles the ball at the court, passes strong, swings it around to number 23, Rakoski. Felton pump fake. Passes it back to Strom. Strom looks to dribble it down, and there's a foul on Walsh West on, Han on Lubadowski. Amen, the ball is Romanski. Pass it out to Felton. Felton dribbles down, and it is out on Wausau West. No foul call. And so Wausau East will inbound the ball. Again, Romanski on the inbound. Passes the ball to Vogel. Passes it to Rutowski. Passes it to Felton. Passes it to Romanski. Vogel passes it to Felton, who is able to make the score. And Wasa East takes an 11 to 6 lead. Still playing the full court press. Gets it out to Lobodowski. And Refuse has the ball. Pass it to number 31, Taylor Penn. Schultz Sturch has the ball. Pass it to Penn. Swings it around to Fisher. Pass it to yeah, Interfuse. Interfuse, excuse me on that. Dribbles it. Pass it to 14, Schertz. Fisher has the ball. Pass it to Schertz. Schertz wanted to take it. Goes pass to Hainerfuse, puts up the shot, and it is rebounded by number two, Kyle Nickel, but fouled by Rutowski. So Walsey East has six fouls already in the first period with a minute 16 to go as Walsey West is looking to cut into Walsey East. 11 to 6 lead as the first free throws up and it is no good with Kyle Nickel, the 6 foot 2 sophomore 
taking the shot. Cole Nelson comes back into the game for Rutowski. Nichols' second shot is up, and it is no good short, so he misses both free throws. And the Lumberjacks try and force it, and uh, Strom is not able to handle the pass from number 21, Hermanski. So inbounding the ball will be 31, Tyler Penn. And Wasa East is continuing to play that full court press. And Wasa West is able to inbound his shirt. He gets the ball to number 22, Andrew Fisher. Fisher dribbles it, guarded by Cole Nelson. Passes the ball to shirt. Henrik Hughes has the ball. Excuse me, Nickel with the ball. Passes out to shirt. He passes it to Fisher. Looking to get it inside, but good defense by the Lumberjacks. He passes out to shirt. Passes it to Nickel. And Wasa East is. Uh, I don't know if West is playing for the last shot, but there are 33 and a 30, 30 seconds. And Wasa East steals the ball, and Strom picks it up and passes it to Nelson. And I think Wasa East may try and hold for the last shot here. And there's a foul on Wasa East. On Cole Nelson. Cole Nelson gets the foul, so Wasa West will get the, foul, the ball back. With 19.6 seconds left to go as Wasa East has an 11 to six lead in the opening period. Wasa West is up in the backcourt. Wasa West puts up the ball to the shirt and it goes off the backboard. And so it will be Wasa East ball with 7.7 .7 seconds, enough time for Wasa East to uh, be able to inbound the ball and make something happen. Wasa West will pressure him to make sure that they get rid of the ball. Felton pushes it. Felton puts up the three shot and it is no good. Wasa West throws up the three, desperation heave. Almost hit your cameraman, but uh, it's all good. As Wasa East has an 11 to six lead here in the first quarter. Wasa East is really doing a nice job um, they're not exactly doing what they intended to when I talked to uh, Coach Teske. He really wanted said that uh, he wanted the team to play faster. But uh, obviously that's not happening, but uh, he can't be too unhappy with the result. Uh, as it is 11 to 6 in favor of Wausau East. Uh, Wausau East having a five point lead over Wausau West. And Wausau West really coming out of this quarter break needs to be able to hit more of their shots. And I think for both teams, they need to be able to play a, a cleaner game. Uh, Wasa East has had seven fouls here in the opening period, as Wasa West is therefore already in the bonus. So both teams, especially the East, needs to play a cleaner game. I'll be interested to see how Wasa West comes out uh, down here. They were down in their game against Vichelli. They were down by 10 at the quarter, and they were able to come from behind in order to, to, to win it. So. Wasa West has had some slow starts and has been able to come back from those slow starts. Uh, let's see if Wasa East is able to uh, increase their lead. So Shirts is inbounding the ball as the teams come back onto the court. Duffy passes the ball to Penn, dribbles it, passes it out to Hinderfuse. Church has the ball, passes it to Penn, passes it to Nickel. And they're really doing a nice job. Both teams are really doing a nice job moving the ball. Uh, but Wasa West in particular has done a nice job being able to keep the ball moving and rotate it to their players. And uh, that's one of the key things that Wasa West has to do is be able to play for the team as they pass it inside to Duffy and Duffy is able to get a nice shot up there. So Widmark has the ball, passes it to Nelson. And 
Wadalgo, Wadbug. Well, Vogel is out there for the Lumberjack. Cole Nelson has the ball, pass it to Vogel. Strom dribbles inside and is fouled on the floor by the Warriors. I believe that foul was on number two, Kyle Nickel. Yep, the foul is on number two, Nickel. So Cole Nelson will inbound the ball. Passes it out to Romanski, who puts up the shot and is not strong enough, but he gets the rebound back and is able to, to pass it off the foot of Lobodowski and the Warriors will get the ball. Now he passes in to Lovelgal, or excuse me, passes it to Nickel. And the score is now 11 to 10 as the Warriors have scored four points Four straight points to the Lumberjack zero coming out of the break. Passes it to Strom. Strom puts up the shot and it is good. And the Lumberjacks score for the first time in this period, getting a three point lead. Duffy pass, pass it. Duffy puts up the shot and it is no good. But he stepped out of bounds. Number two, Kyle Nickel stepped out of bounds. So the Lumberjacks will get the ball off ball back after the turnover by the Warriors. Inbound in the ball will be Cole Nelson looking to pass it to Vogel. Cole Nelson will dribble the ball up the court. Dribbles the ball inside the paint, passes it out to Vogel, who puts up the three and it is no good. But the Lumberjacks get the rebound back Lumberjacks get the rebound again. Lumberjacks got the rebound. Cole Nelson got the rebound there. Put up the shot. It's blocked, I believe. And uh, Conrad Felton got the ball back and then got fouled by the Warriors. So Felton will go to the line for two shots. Looking to increase the Lumberjacks lead to five. Put up the shot and it is good. Wolf comes into the game for Lewandowski as Felton looks to take his second shot. Shot is up, and it's good. So the Lumberjacks regain their five point lead that they had at the quarter break after they go on their own four point run after the Warriors came out of the period with, their own, with a four point run. Oh, and the Lumberjacks are able to steal. That's Vogel, who was able to steal and put up the shot and makes it, so two points for with Vogel. Duffy walks the ball to court, guarded by Nelson. Fancy behind the back work with the basketball, dribbles it down into the court, passes it, but it is rejected by Widmark. And so he's not able to try and save the ball as, well, as uh, Nickel did a nice job preventing uh, E from trying to save the ball. Passes it out to uh, Duffy. Passes it to Wolf. Church is looking to bring it inside. Dribbles. Passes it down to Henry or to Nickel, and Nickel is not able to put up the basket. In. Nice defense down low by Woodmark. Woodmark has the ball. Passes it to Becker. Becker passes it to Felton. Felton is in the corner, takes the shot, and it is no good. So Penn has the ball, but it is stripped away by the Lumberjacks. Becker has the ball, puts it the layup too hard, and the Lumberjacks are still not able to get it even after Conrad Felton puts up the layup. So no points for the Lumberjacks, but they still have a seven point lead over the Warriors. In the corner, puts up the shot, and it is no good. And there's a foul on the Lumberjacks. On. Yep. Over the back, called on the Lumberjacks. 
So Penn will go to the line. First shot is up and it is good. And here's the second shot. Shot is up and it is no good, short. But he gets his own rebound. And the Warriors maintain possession. Puts up the shot. I was Fisher on the shot and on the three. As the Warriors cut Wasi's lead to three points, 17 to 14 with four minutes left to go in the first half. Passes the ball to Felton. Felton wants to put up the shot, fakes out, and eventually gets in the bite and is not able to put up the shot. Wilson, a foul on the Lumberjacks, or not a foul. I think it hit the uh, top of the backboard. So the Lumberjacks will, in, or excuse me, the Warriors will inbound the ball. Number uh, 10 on the inbound, who's able to pass it out to Nickel. Nickel passes it to Penn. Or Fisher, excuse me. Fisher drives it down in the basket, puts up the shot, and it is no good. Fisher gets his own rebound. And passes it back out to Schertz. Schertz puts up the three-pointer. Romanski has the ball, passes it out to Number 11, Sean Wilson. Romanski has the ball back again. Romanski dribbles it in, puts up the shot, and it is no good. And the Lumberjacks have not been able to uh, make any of their baskets. And uh, they've just gone cold for a little bit. So we'll see if the Lumberjacks can pick it back up again with three minutes to go uh, in the first half. Becker guarding Penn. Passes Fisher. Passes it to Schertz, passes it to Penn. Penn puts up the three, and it's no good, and Wilson does a nice job on the rebound there. Uh, and they're forcing it up the court, and Becker is not able to handle the ball. And so West will get the ball back with Penn with the ball. Penn puts up the shot, and it's no good. Okay, Wasis was out of bounds. Cole Nelson and Strom come back into the game for Wilson and Brecker. Henry Fuse on the inbound pass. Looking to pass it out, finding no one. And finds Shirts eventually. Henry Fuse passes it to Shirts, passes it to Duffy, or excuse me, to Fisher. Wolf Fisher puts up the shot, and the Lumberjacks are not able to get the rebound. And Felton had the rebound, but was not able to control it and tips it out. So it will be the Warriors' ball again. Shirts will inbound. Passes it out to Fisher. He passes it to Wolf. And there's a foul on West. So the Lumberjacks will get the ball back. And coming into the game for the Lumberjacks, Jaden Rakowski. Cole Nelson will inbound it to Adam Romanski. Romanski dribbles the ball up the court. Dribbles it around, pass it to Nelson. And he will be called for traveling. And so with the tie ball game here with two minutes left to go here in the second quarter, both teams are tied at 17. And West will have the ball. Fisher dribbles the ball up the court. And it draws a foul by Rakowski. So he will be going for one and one. So while the Warriors have really dominated the latter port part here of the second quarter, they really haven't been able to come up with many points as a result of that. And it is still, therefore, a tight game. But 
Number 22 for the Warriors. Fisher will be looking to break the tie. Puts up the shot. And it's no good. And the Lumberjacks are able to get it. That's Strom on the rebound. Passes it out to Romanski. Romanski dribbles the ball. Passes it all the way over to Cole Nelson. He puts up the shot. And it is good. And the Lumberjacks break the tie. 20 to 17 with the three-pointer there. Dribbles the ball at the court. Almost stolen. The Warriors do a good job maintaining possession. Shirts puts up the three, and he makes it. Romanski dribbles the ball at the court, pushing the ball. Pass out to Strom. Passes it out to Vogel. And Strom puts up the shot. West has the ball, number 22, Fisher. Passes it out to Hannafuse. Dribbling the ball. Lost his dribble. Passes it to Fisher. Fisher dribbles it. Dribbles it down. Fisher still has the ball. Passes it out. And around to number 31, Penn. Nickel has the ball at the top. Passes it to Penn. 30 seconds left. Shirts has the ball, passes it over to Fisher. They're looking to get it inside. Puts up the three from way downtown and it is rebounded by the Lumberjacks. And Cole Nelson will have the ball. Passes it to Strom who passes it back. And Hermansky puts up the three and it is no good, a little bit short. And so the Warriors have about 10 seconds left. Under 10 seconds here. Puts up the shot, no shot. Travel on West. So the Lumberjacks will have 1.6 seconds precisely to put up a shot here. Romanski will inbound the ball. Looking to pass it. Wall Vogel puts it up and it's no good. So at the end of the first half, Walsh East 22. Walsall West, 20. So what's really been a, an exciting game for the Lumberjacks as the Lumberjacks have a, uh, a two-point lead over the Warriors. What's really been an exciting half, but it's kind of interesting in the latter half of the uh, quarter, Walsall West was re really able to do a nice job and almost, almost, you could almost say that they dominated for periods there but they weren't able to come out with many points. So that's why the, uh, the score remains with East in the lead. But uh, this isn't the first time West been down a half. They were down in the Pacelli game by 10 points at halftime. And so with this halftime, we will take a five minute break. So we'll be back with you in five minutes. Uh, thank you so much for watching the first half and we'll be back in five uh, for the second half. Again, this is uh, Wasi's basketball on WIA TV.
and welcome back to WETV for tonight's presentation of the Wausau East Lumberjacks versus the Wausau West Warriors. Here tonight, we have uh, really a close game with uh, the score of 22 to 20. And uh, we would like to thank the pep band for providing the halftime entertainment. Again, the pep band is directed by Mr. Perkins under the leadership of drum majors Tyler Behrens and Ali Lensley. We'd also like to thank the fans for their uh, mid-court entertainment. And we'd like to thank whoever came up with this brilliant idea for fundraising. Because, uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty smart. And there's a, uh, if you are keeping track at home, we've had three, uh, three half-court shots that have gone in so far. And a lot more than that taken. So, uh, but anyway, back to the game. It's really been a, a defensive struggle, uh, or maybe it's just been a lot of missed shots. I think a lot of te the, both teams have had a lot of opportunities that they haven't been able to convert on, and uh, that's four. And so it's really been an interesting game, and uh, I'll be interested to see which team comes out of halftime. Uh, if you'll harken back to the first game, we had a much similar situation where Walsall West was on top of Walsall East uh, by four points going into halftime. And then coming out of the halftime, Walsall West was just able to dominate. So I'll be interested to see if uh, Walsall West is uh, going to do the same thing here or if uh, Walsall East will come out and uh, be able to take this game away. Or perhaps neither team will. And uh, we will have a close match down to the wire. So Wausau West is taking the floor. And here comes the home team, the Wausau East Lumberjacks. Two minutes left to go before we get the second half underway. And so something also to look for is uh, I'll be interested to see if Conrad Felton uh, is a little bit more involved in the game. He, he did have a great half with, uh, I think, somewhere around eight points. Uh, but we're... I'll be looking to see if he uh, will have a, a bigger impact on this game. Uh, like I've been saying, Conrad Felton has really been the key player for Wausau East. He's uh, scoring a meager 18 points in the first game and then uh, with very strong 29 and 28 points in uh, the next two games over Pacelli and Newman. Uh, so I'll be interested to see uh, who really takes uh, whether or not Conrad Felton is going to be able to uh, keep up, keep on pace uh, with the figures he's been putting up so far. For Walter West, um, I think something we really need to see is who's going to step up and who's going to be a leader. Um, it, was, it was interesting when I talked to uh, Coach uh, Grungzik for the Warriors. He, he really said that there was no key player for his team. Um, he said the sh shirts would have to be a defensive uh, standout for them, but he really didn't uh, indicate that there was one player or the other who would be the key player. So, but I think even if there is no key player, Wausau West has to have someone, um, a senior or someone else who steps up and uh, takes leadership of this team, particularly on the offensive end, as they've been kind of rotating through. As we get set to start the second uh, half here, Wausau West comes out on the court. On the court for Wausau West is number 33, Wolf. Andrew Wolf, number 34, Brendan Lewikowski. Uh, number 14, Tyler Schertz. Number 31, Taylor Penn. And number 25, Justin Duffy. For the Lumberjacks, we have number two, Travis Walvogel. Number four, Cole Nelson. Number 21, Adam Romanski. Number 24, Conrad Felton and number 22, Justin Strom. As Ermanski has the ball, passes out to Strom, passes it over to Walvogel, passes it to Cole. Ermanski passes it out to Felton, who passes it back to Ermanski. Nice job passing by the Lumberjacks here as Ermanski dribbles it and passes it out to Walvogel. Passes it back to Ermanski. Passes it out to Felton, or excuse me, uh, passes it out to Strom. We really wanted to take the shot there, but perhaps wisely chose not to. Strong has the ball back. Looking to go down into the paint. 
and there's a trap by two also left, but Hermanski has a wide open shot and he chooses not to take it. Pass it out to Wal Vogel, who finally decides to take a shot and misses that shot. So, a couple good opportunities that Wall Street East chooses not to take and ends up coming away empty handed uh, on their opening possession in the first half. Walsall West gets the ball and it goes off. They're saying it went off Strom. Interesting. Uh, so it'll be Walsall West ball off of Strom. Inbound of the ball is Penn, who's looking, looking, passes it out to Walvogel, uh, or excuse me, Lomodowski. And is not able to get the ball, but there is a foul on Walsh to East. So West uh, Lobodowski will be shooting two for Walsh West. Looking to tie this ball game up as it is 22-20 in the third period. Shot is up, and it's good. So Lomodowski is perfect so far. Let's see if he can continue. Shot is up, and it is good. Two for two on that free throw attempt as Ermanski dribbles the ball to court. Passes it to Wal Vogel. Passes it to Nelson, who passes it inside to Strom. Strom passes it outside to Felton. Fakes a shot and puts it up to Nelson. Passes it out to Wal Vogel. Wal Vogel passes it to Nelson, who passes it to Ermanski who passes to Strom. Nelson has the ball, looking to go inside, and they're calling it an offensive foul. A charge is called on Cole Nelson. So Wassel West will get the ball. Penn inbounding the ball with the full court press on by the Lumberjacks. Almost, do he doesn't get it in. Felton has the ball. He's fouled. Oh, it's an offensive charge. They're calling an offensive charge. So Wassa East draws their third foul. First foul on Connor Felton. So Wassa East is playing aggressive basketball here as they've been doing all throughout the game, playing the full court press, manning up. Duffy has the ball, dribbling around. Pass it to Penn. Penn is in the corner. Pass it outside to Schertz. Schertz passes it out to Lewandowski. He passes it to Schertz. Penn puts up the shot and it is no good, but the rebound is gotten by Lewandowski. Wolf gets the, Wolf gets the rebound and the foul. Nice job by West in order to draw the foul. So that's the fourth foul against Wassa East with zero fouls against Wassa West so far in the second half. Number 33, Wolf, will be inbounding the ball as Sean Wilson comes into the game for uh, one of the Vogel. Well, Vogel, excuse me on that. Passes it out to Wolf, who has the ball, and is passes it around to Fisher. Puts up the shot, and it is good. And so Walsall West takes a 24 to 22 lead, and they are pushing out the court. Strom has the ball, is blocked, but puts the, his rebound up. Felton gets the rebound. Now Walsall East gets the rebound again. So in an interesting series of events, Walsall East, the final result is Walsall East pulls the ball out of the scrum, passes it inside to Felton. Felton passes it back to Romanski, who puts up the shot, and it is short. Got nothing but net. But unfortunately, that one won't count. So Walsall West takes their first lead of the night by two points. Fisher dribbles the ball of court, guarded by Cole Nelson, who passes it outside to Wolf. 
We'll pass it around to Fisher. Lewandowski has the ball and then passes it around to Shirt. Fisher. Wolf's three point attempt is no good and is rebounded by the Lumberjacks as Romanski dribbles the ball, of course. And he puts it, oh, and fails to make the layup. And they can call a foul on the Warriors. Foul on the floor. And so Walter West draws it, or gets their first foul of the night on number 22, Andrew Fisher. Romanski puts up the shot and it is no good. Warriors are able to rescue the ball. And Fisher dribbles the ball at court. Swings it around the pen. He swings around to Shirt. Moves it in inside with Lewandowski. And Lewandowski is not able to make the, the layup. Felton on the rebound. Nice defense there by Sean Wilson. And they put it into the inside. And Strong makes the layup there. As Wasa East equalizes this game at 24 apiece. Swings it around the Shirts. Shirts puts up the three-pointer and it is no good. Nelson grabs the ball in the corner. Is able to get out of there. Felton passes the ball. To Nelson has the ball. Passes the ball to Romanski. Around to Felton. Felton screens it inside and is not able to make the layup and Sean Wilson is not able to make the layup. And so West will get the rebound off of two missed shots by Wausau East. So Brungnick of the Warriors will uh, call the timeout as we have a timeout here. 24-24 with 3.13 left in the third period. So coming out of halftime, neither team has really been able to uh, take control of this game as we have a 24 to 24 tie. And so in what is a low scoring affair, uh, neither team has been able to show dominance over the other. And so this one looks like it might be a close one all the way down to the wire and there's a foul on the Lumberjacks on number three, Jace Meyer. Russell West will inbound the ball. Penn steps out of bounds. So the Lumberjacks will get the ball back with Meyer inbounding the ball to Cole Nelson. He dribbles it up the court. West is still playing a man-to-man -man defense. Both teams have done a, a really great job on the defensive side of things. Ooh, Felton really wanted to put that one up. Felton has the ball again. Passes it around to uh, Nelson. He's tipped. He passes tipped and to Meyer. But Conrad Felton puts up the three and it does not go in and West gets the ball. Penn on the rebound. He swings it around to Lewandowski. Or excuse me to Nickel, and Nickel is able to make the layup and is able to establish another lead, the second lead of the night for the Warriors. 
score is now 26-24 with West having a two-point lead. Myers has the ball, passes it around to Felton, who is fouled by the Warriors. The foul is on number 14, Tyler Schertz of the Warriors. Tanner Fuse is coming into the game for the Warriors for Lewandowski. Nelson inbounds the ball. Woodmark. But there's a foul on Walsh West. I believe that's number 31 on the foul. Taylor Penn. Nelson passes it around to Felton. Pass it to Meyer. Nelson has the ball at the top. Pass it to Felton. Felton really hasn't been much of a presence. It's been shut down by the Warriors. But Nelson is not able to make that three-pointer. But a uh, nice job by the Warriors being able to shut down Conrad Felton. And if Wasi really wants to get to win this game, uh, they really need to make sure that they get Conrad Felton uh, back and uh, on fire, as he has been over the past three games. As uh, Hainerfuse makes that jumper, and so there's a timeout called by Walsall East as Walsall West takes their biggest lead of the night by four points. So as the teams come back onto the court, Wassa East will have the ball as Meyer inbounds the ball to Nelson. Nelson crosses over the half court line, passes it to Meyer, who slips a little bit, but is able to pass it to Widmark. Felton has the ball, passes it into Strom. Nice defense there by the Warriors. Nelson dribbling the ball, passes it to Meyer, who gets it to Felton, but it goes out of bounds on the Lumberjacks. So the Warriors will get the ball with Schertz. Schertz has played very well tonight, getting a lot of minutes for the Warriors and really being a nice presence for the Warriors on the defensive side of things. West has the ball, passes it over to Hainerfuse. Hainerfuse at the top of the key, passes it to Nickel. Passes it to Church. Church puts up the three and no good. But West will get the rebound. Hainerfuse is up and foul on Cole Nelson. Hainerfuse, nice job there drawing the foul as Walsall West looks to take a six point lead. Fuse's first shot is up, and it's good. Second shot is up, and it's also good. So Wassel West takes a commanding, at least for this game, six point lead over the Lumberjacks with 30 seconds, under 30 seconds left to play. Lumberjacks really haven't been able to get anything going here. And finally, they make a basket as Woodmark is able to make the layup there. Nice job passing and able to get it down uh, inside past the Warriors defense. Dribbling over the top of the key is Fisher. Passes it over to Hanerfuse. With the ball is Nickel. Nickel travels. So two seconds left for the, with the Lumberjacks. Lumberjacks are looking to have the ball. Trying to inbound the ball. Passes it to Strom. Looks to put up a desperation heave. Oh! 
Good effort, but unable to go in. So end of, of three, the Lumberjacks are down 26 to 30. Lumberjacks have really done a nice job here, but uh, are down by four points, and you know, it'll be interested to see how they come out of the quarter. They really were not able to score uh, during the third quarter, but they did play nice defense. Uh, so some good and some bad for the Lumberjacks, uh, but they really need to get Conrad Felton going, or at least someone going, because no one for the Lumberjacks is uh, hot right now. So the fourth quarter is set to get underway here at Wall City's Fieldhouse. As the Lumberjacks are looking to overcome a four point deficit and win this hard, uh, hotly contested matchup uh, between Crosstown rivals Wausau West and Wausau East. West has the ball. Church passes it over to number two, Nickel. Nickel ha or Church has the ball. And there's a whistle down in the paint against the Lumberjacks. Or, excuse me, against the Warriors. So, so Lewandowski draws his second, his fourth foul of the evening. Romanski dribbles the ball up, passes it to Felton. Felton has not scored at all in the first half. But Meyer tries to put it up. And Felton gets his first point of the second half on a tough basket and a nice job under the hoop by Felton. And the Lumberjacks draw within two of the Warriors, 30 to 28. Hannah Fuse with the ball, passes it out to Lewandowski. Shirts with the ball, passes it around. It's number 25. Justin Duffy. And the Lumberjacks get the ball back. Meyer is able to get the ball back with Felton with the ball. Passes it over to Romanski. Nice job by the Lumberjacks on the pick and roll. And Meyer is not able to score there. Duffy with the ball, passes it over to Schertz. Schertz passes it around to Nickel. Swings it around to Hannerfuse. Gets the ball to Schertz. And the Warriors, while they're doing a nice job passing around the perimeter, they really need to make sure they get the ball to the inside and uh, be able to get the ball around. And now they bring it into the inside. Nickel, but misses everything on that uh, jumper shot. So Conrad Felton with the ball, puts up the shot, and it is no good. He is having a bit of an off night tonight. And uh, Lumberjacks are hoping that changes real soon with uh, about five minutes, a little bit over five minutes and a half left to go in the fourth quarter here. Out with the shot is uh, Lewandowski, which is no good and the Lumberjacks are looking to tie the, this ball game with a two pointer or take the lead. While Vogel has passes it out to Meyer, Meyer puts up the shot and it's good! And the Lumberjacks take a 31 to 30 lead on the three. But on the three by Meyer and Wausau West will take a timeout as Wausau East regains the lead 31 to 30. So 
So as we're coming into the timeout, the Lumberjacks have done a nice job scoring five points unanswered uh, from the Warriors as they are, have taken a 31 to 30 lead here at Wausau East Fieldhouse as the bitter crosstown rivals Wausau West and Wausau East face in the Wisconsin Valley Conference opener. Inbounding the ball is Shirk. He gets the ball out to number uh, number five, Hannerfuse. Excuse me. Hannerfuse has the ball. Passes it around to number 22, Andrew Fisher. Shirk has the ball. Passes it around to Nickel. And Wasa East fouls Wasa West. And Wasa West is in the bonus, so it'll be one and one for the Warriors. Nickel is at the free throw line. First shot is up, and it's good. So we have a tie ball game once again with West having one more shot here at the free throw line. Nickel looks to take the shot. Shot is up. Good. So West regains the lead 32-31 with under five minutes to go here in the final period in what is an exciting uh, rivalry game as that is knocked out uh, by the West. So Romanski has the ball. Passes it over to Meyer. Gets the ball to Wallvogel. Well, and they are able to make the shot. That was Wallvogel. And Wasa East regains the lead in a back and forth uh, for West and East. Henry Fuse has the ball. Works it around to number 31, Penn. Gets the ball to Fisher. Passes it inside to Nickel. And almost, hey! In an interesting series of events, uh, Shirts went up to take the shot and uh, Cole Nelson was able to uh, knock it out of his hands, but West was able to recover the ball. With under four minutes to go in the fourth period, Wassa East up 33 to 32 over Wassa West Warriors. Hannerfuse has the ball in the corner, works it over more towards midcourt and works it to number 31, Taylor Penn. Shirts has the ball and lost the ball, almost went out of bounds. But Fisher has the ball. West is struggling to get the ball into the perimeter as they do a nice job there. And number 31, Taylor Penn there, is able to make the nice shot there. Wassa West regains the lead, 34-33 as Coach Teske takes a timeout. Conrad Felton and Justin Strom are going back into the game as two of uh, Wasa East leaders are going to come back into the game, so hopefully Wasa East will be able to use them and work the ball over, especially Conrad Felton, who's kind of underperformed tonight, according to his standards, and he was remarkable in the first couple of games. Uh, I gave you the stats earlier, but again, Conrad Felton le led the team in all three of the games, scoring 18, 29, and 28 respect in uh, games against Mosny Pacelli and Newman respectively. So, and the second scorer for all three games was Justin Strom. So their two highest scorers are uh, back in the game for Wausau East. As Wausau East will have possession here. In the fourth quarter with 3.16 to go. Wausau West up 34-33. Over the home team, the Wausau East Lumberjacks. Here at Wausau East Fieldhouse, the rivalry game between East and West, and the Lumberjacks will inbound it down by one with 3.16 to go. Walvogel takes the ball and passes it over to Nelson who passes it to Strom. Gets the ball to Walvogel again. Walvogel dribbles it down inside and is able to He is not able to draw the charge, and there. Oh, he is able to draw the charge. So Wasa East 
is going to the charity line for two free throws. Wallvogel will be shooting two on the foul by Hanerfuse. So Wallvogel ties the game up at 34 apiece, looking to have Wausau East take the lead with three minutes to go. Wallvogel shot is up. It's good. And the Lumberjacks retake the lead, 35-34, with three minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. In a back and forth, close, hard fought game between both sides. Church has the ball at the top, passes it to Fisher. Fisher's dribbling the ball at the top, gives it to uh, Nickel. Nickel has the ball, passes it over to Penn. Penn has the ball up there. Fisher has the ball, gives it back to Penn. Draw, throws it inside. And a reach in foul on Wallvogel against Nickel. And so it'll be one and one for the Warriors. So Nickel will look to tie and then hopefully to uh, gain the lead for West on this first free throw on a one and one shot is up. And it's good. So we have a tie ball game here again. And Nichols looking to break the tie in Wausau West's favor on the second of the one one Shot is up, and it's no good. But Wausau West gets the rebound. And they get the rebound again. And a foul is called on Wausau East. A foul called on Nemanski for Wall City. So again, another one on one for the Warriors. Wall City's needed to get that free throw there, or excuse me, that rebound there. And now, Wall City West will look to uh, gain the lead and extend the lead to two points uh, if you can make both of these one on ones. Bryce Woodmark is coming into the game for Romanski. So Nichols at the free throw line. Shot is up, and it's good. So the Lumberjacks take a, a 36 to 35 lead with 2.30 left to go here in the second in the fourth quarter. The second shot is up and it's good. So the Warriors have a 37 to 35 here lead here at Wall Street Fieldhouse uh, over the Wall Street Lumberjacks. Conrad Felton puts up, oh and his shot is no good. Wall Street West has the ball, looking to get the ball. Oh and nice job by Bruce Widmark, but his shot is too strong. Wausau West has the ball, and there's a foul called on Wausau East. The foul is called on Wallvogel. So while Wausau East is not able to convert opportunities that they have into points, so Wausau West will get two free throws here, and that's big because uh, Wausau Wals West is in the double bonus while East is not yet in the bonus. So that could be uh, a key point to, as we have two minutes and four seconds left in the game and West has a four point lead, 39 to 35. Wausau East has a little bit of work left to do. Uh, but they're gonna come out of this game ahead. Walvoga has the ball, passes it over to Felton. Felton passes it to Nelson. Walvoga puts up the shot, and it is good! And the three-pointer by Walvoga makes this a 38-39 game. Wassa West is in the lead, but this is a tight, exciting game between the Wassa West Warriors and the home team, the Wassa East Lumberjack, 39-38.
So as the teams retake the court, the score is 39-38. Wausau West is leading here at Wausau East Fieldhouse over the home team, Wausau East. Number 31 for the Warriors. Inbounds it, Fisher. Fisher has the ball, dribbles it, passes it off to number 24. Church has the ball at the top. Kent Lewandowski has the ball. Oh, and it, it's almost stolen by Walvogel. But Wausau West is able to hold onto the ball with under, with a minute 20 remaining. And Wausau West is trying to stall for time here. So as we get close to a minute to play. They bring it inside, and Wausau West makes it. That was number two, Kyle Nickel, who scores for the Warriors. Nelson has it inside, but he is blocked, rejected by number 34, Brendan Lewandowski. And Wausau East will get the ball. Strong one of the foul there, but ref wasn't buying it. Felton has the ball, and he makes the basket. Makes the layup down in the paint, and Conrad Felton has a, a big point, a big basket for the Lumberjacks. So Wausau West has the ball, passes over to Schertz. Inside to Lewandowski, and we are around 20 seconds left to go here. Nickel has the ball at the top. And there's a foul on Wassa East. So it'll be two shots for the Lumber for Was for the Warriors. 41 to 40. With West up on top. Looking to extend the lead to 41 to 43-40. But it'll still be a one possession game. And the first one is made. So Widmark comes in the game, replacing Hermansky. As here's the second shot. Shot is up, and it's good. And so Wausau West takes a three-point lead with 15 seconds to go. They're looking to take a three to send this game into overtime. Felton has the ball, seven seconds. Puts the shot up, and he makes the shot! In an incredible shot! One second left, zero! Half court shot, no! We are going to overtime here at Wall Street Fieldhouse. An incredible shot by Cole Nelson. With two seconds left to go, sends this game to overtime here at Wall Street Fieldhouse. An incredible shot. Incredible shot by Cole Nelson. It's sending this game into overtime. The score is 43-43. We are getting some free basketball here at Wausau East Fieldhouse. The shot was absolutely incredible. Conrad Felton passing the ball. He was well guarded by West, but kind of stumbling forward, he threw up a desperation heave, and it miraculously went into the, went into the hoop. And as uh, the fans are reminding us all, they are certainly fired up, and uh, they have Good reason to be after an incredible shot and a, a, an incredible series of uh, plays. And uh, West thinks they'll win. I know East thinks they'll win. And we are going into overtime. So it's a, a fantastic game here at Wausau East Fieldhouse. And uh, we are getting some free basketball. So that's never a bad thing. So Wausau West is on the court. So this is going to be a four minute overtime and it will start off with a jump. For Wausau West, Brendan Lewandowski will be doing the jumping and uh, Justin Strom will jump for East. So 
So after that incredible shot by Cole Nelson, we're in overtime. And Wausau East wins the tip off. Four minutes of overtime here at Wausau East Fieldhouse. Walvogel brings in. Strom has it, but Ermanski gets it back. Conrad Felton has the ball, pass it, but he, he, he's called for a travel. Conrad Felton is called for a travel as he was going to the ground and looking to pass the ball to Ermanski, but he's called for a travel. So Wasa East, uh, so Wasa West will get possession and Wasa East will continue its full court press as it has done all game. And so number 22, Andrew Fisher brings the ball up for West. Church has the ball and swings it down to Nickel. Who passes the ball up to Lubadowski and Schertz has the ball at the top. But throughout the game, something that's really been key is as the shot goes up and Wasa East will get the ball. Oh, it almost went out of bounds. And they pass it down to Strom. And the ball goes out of bounds. Got a little excited. Tried to throw it to Conrad Felton uh, for the layup, but got a little too excited there and threw it out of bounds. Oh, it was tipped. It was tipped. Excuse me on that one. It was tipped by West. Uh, so Wasi East will retain possession. Still a tie ball game here, 43-43. Uh, three minutes to go, Conrad Felton has the ball, puts up the shot, and he makes it! He makes the shot. Conrad Felton makes the shot. It's 46-43 here in the exciting game at Wasi East Fieldhouse. It's overtime. Nickel at the top, passes over to Schertz. Lubadowski has the ball, passes it back to Schertz. Lubadowski has it, passes it over to Penn. Penn drives inside, and there's a foul on the ground, a, a pushing foul by Cole Nelson. So, Wasa West will be shooting two, and they're still in the bonus. So Walvogel has fouled out. And Walvogel really did a nice job. The uh, senior for the Lumberjacks, the 5'10 guard, really had a nice game. And now timeout will be called. Well, something is going on. Timeout by someone. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. But uh, number 31 for the Warriors, Taylor Penn, will be shooting two free throws here as Wausau East has a 46 to 43 lead uh, with two minutes and 36 seconds to go here in the fourth quarter. Penn shoots it and makes it. And 10 second free throw is up. And it's good. So it's a one point game, as it was for much of the fourth quarter. And this time it's Wausau East who has the lead, 46 to 45. With two minutes and 30 seconds to go, Strom has the ball at the top, passes it over to Felton. Passes it to Nelson. Romanski with the ball, dribbling, dribbling. Passes it over to Widmark. Widmark has the ball at the top. They need some help. Romanski has the ball, trying to settle down a little bit. Dribbles it down into the lane, passes out to Strom. Strom doesn't take the basket. There's been a, a, quite a few instances of this tonight where Wasi East has had open shots as Connor Felton drives into the lane. Oh, he doesn't make the shot, he gets his own rebound, and he gets fouled! And Connor Felton is fouled in the paint after missing his first layup and uh, is fouled by the Warriors when he tries to put it back up. So Conrad Felton will shoot two free throws here. He was perfect on his last set. Puts it up, and it's short. So Conrad Felton will be looking to extend the lead to two here on his second free throw. Second free throw is up, and it's, it's good. And the L L Lumberjacks increase their lead 
47 to 45 for two points. And the timeout is called by the Warriors. This is an exciting game here as we're getting some free basketball here. The score is 47 to 45 with a minute 46 to go in, the, in this overtime period. And so we're back with a minute 46 to play here in the overtime period. As Walsall West inbounds it, number 22. Andrew Fisher with the ball, dribbles it up, passes it over to Penn, takes the ball at the top, passes it over to Fisher. Back and forth with Penn, and gets it out to Lobodowski. Passes it back to Penn, swings it around to Schertz. Schertz with the ball, minute 30 to go, and is, is rejected by Romanski. Swings the ball in, down low, passes it out to Fisher. Penn with the ball. Minute, minute tw 10 to go here in the overtime period. 47-45, Wasley East with the lead by two points. Lewandowski with the ball, passes it over to Sh Schertz. Fisher has the ball. Lewandowski with the ball. Under a minute to go here in the overtime period. 50 seconds. Lewandowski with the ball. Puts up the three point shot. And it's no good and Wasi East gets the rebound. And Wasi East has the ball. And there was. And Wasi East makes the basket and takes a four point lead with 30 seconds to go in the overtime period. And Wasa West takes a timeout. So Wasi East got the ball, was able to get the rebound. Instead of just playing for time like Walsall West did all, during the last couple of minutes when they had a two point, when they had a three point lead, when they had a, a one point lead and were able to extend to a, a three point lead. Walsall East uh, forces the ball at the court and are able to get it down low and are able to uh, extend their lead to four. And so it is a two score game here with 30 seconds to play. Uh, Wausau East with the lead here at Wausau East Fieldhouse. In this exciting, exciting game. Uh, this, is, this is kind of a testament of, of what a true rivalry is. Uh, Wausau East and Wausau West uh, going back at it. And neither team uh, wants, wants to lose and neither team is willing to lose. So Wasa West will inbound the ball. Number 31, Taylor Penn will inbound it. Wasa East says the Dunnell game will be playing their full, they, they will not be playing their full court threat. So they're gonna let Andrew Fisher walk, or pass, pass it to Andrew Fisher. Penn walks it up the court, has it at the top of the key. He fell down, he passed the ball. Conrad Felton had the ball, but a foul was called. I, I believe that was an intentional foul. Are they gonna call it an intentional foul? A technical. So it's an intentional foul on the Warriors. So Conrad Feldman will get two free throws and Wasa East will get the ball with 19.7 seconds to go. Here with Wasa East having a 49 to 45 lead in the overtime period. Felton's first shot is up. And it's no good. So second shot. 
is up, and it's good. He nails the second basket, and whilst the East takes a 50 to 45 lead here with 19.7 to be exact seconds to go. And we have a timeout by Wausau West here at Wausau East Fieldhouse. Score is 50 to 45, Wausau East with 19.7 seconds to go in overtime. So Wausau East will inbound. Hermanski on the inbound, trying to find someone to throw it to and eventually gets it to Justin Strom. Passes it back to Hermanski. And the Warriors finally get a foul. And they finally foul Conrad Felton. So Felton, after being one of two in his last attempt, will go to the free throw line again. 50 to 45 the score, Wausau East on top with 15.1 seconds to go in the overtime. Plenty of time for things to happen, but if uh, Conrad Felton hits these two free throws, uh, this game is, this game is getting close, getting close to, to deciding the victory. There's still plenty of time uh, for West to uh, come back into this game. The second free throw is no good. Wasa inbounds it. Penn has the ball. Dribbles up, passes it over to uh, Hanerfuse. Hanerfuse is, it goes out of bounds. Hanerfuse's shot goes out of bounds. And West will retain possession with 6.5 seconds. They need to score real fast here. Has that shirt, but it's blocked by Felton. Felton has the ball, three, two, fouled with 1.5 seconds to go in overtime. Fouls on Hanerfuse. So 1.5 seconds left before Wausau East can win this game. And it, it looks all but sure that Wausau East will finally be declared a victor in this match and that will probably do it, it is, it's now a three possession game and uh, with 1.5 seconds left to go it's it's impossible for West to get it and that's just icing on the cake Hannah puts up a shot but Wasa East wins the overtime game 53 to 45 in this thriller of a game and really it all, it all comes back to Cole Nelson Spectacular shot with with two seconds to go. Nelson off balance, falling forward, puts up a desperation heave, and it somehow goes in the basket. The, the, the final the final score really doesn't reflect how close of a game it was, except for that little OT after it. And uh, this was an exciting game, down to the wire, and uh, both teams really played magnificently and so it's a credit to both teams while uh, in long term significance uh, this means that Wausau East goes to 2-2 two and two, and Wausau West goes to 2-2 two and two, uh, with Wausau East being 1-0 and in conference and Wausau West being 0-1 in conference uh, so it really doesn't have a ton of impact um, as far as the season goes there's still plenty of time plenty of time for both teams to uh, be able to uh, uh, go far but I think it, it shows how talented both of these teams are and uh, Wausau East 
while they didn't have a, a huge night statistically from Conrad Felton, they were able to get uh, points all around from different players. Uh, Walvogel chipped in nine. Cole Nelson had that big three in addition to other uh, points. And it was really a fantastic night for both teams. <sighs> that was an exciting game. And that'll wrap it up for us. So I'd like to thank you so much uh, for listening to this game on WETV. And so on the cameras, we had Dustin Burt. Uh, on camera one, camera two, Olivia Rusky. Camera three, Natalie Magnuson. Our, our associate producer was Jamie Gavin. Our technical director was Mr. Hornby. And our director was Mr. Hornby. Our executive producers were Dr. Bradley Peck, our principal, and Mr. Greg Harvey, the athletic director. Special thanks to them. Uh, so my name is Nathan Townsend. Thank you all for coming out uh, to see this awesome game. Final score, Walsh to East, 53. Uh, Wassel West 45. Thanks so much. Have a good evening. I bid you adieu.